Welcome to Biology, Professor. Today we are talking about bacterial growth, particularly how bacteria grows in a liquid nutrient culture. There are four phases, lag phase, log phase, also known as exponential growth phase, stationary phase, and death phase, or logarithmic decline phase. Let's talk about these four phases. The first one, lag phase, if we look at over here, it's during the early part of growth, when you have inoculated the culture, there's no active cell division because the bacteria are preparing to divide. So they are replicating their DNA, they are making necessary enzymes to move into log phase, which we'll draw here. Log phase is when there is rapid exponential cell division. The bacteria are dividing very quickly, but they are using up nutrients and they are secreting waste products. This is what eventually leads to stationary phase. Stationary phase is when enough of the nutrients are gone and enough of the waste products have built up that basically the rate of cell growth is approximately equal to the rate of cell death. That's why we aren't seeing a net increase in the amount of bacteria once we get to stationary phase. And at this point, the nutrients are still being used up, the waste products are still, are still building up, and this is what brings us to death phase, or logarithmic decline phase. This is when the rate of cell death exceeds the rate of cell division so that you have an overall decrease and the amount of bacteria in the culture. And these are the phases of bacterial growth. So we just talked about the four phases of bacterial growth. Now I want to talk a little bit more about what happens in phase two, the logarithmic phase. That's where the bacteria are exponentially dividing. It's very rapid and it occurs through a process called binary fission. The way that binary fission works is through these four steps. In step number one, you have the bacterial cell elongating, getting longer. Also, the DNA inside it is being replicated, so you get two sets of DNA. Then, the cell wall and the cell membrane begin to pinch in and divide in step two. In step three, the cross wall forms. This separates the original DNA from the replicated DNA that occurred in step one. Then you get in step four, the two daughter cells fully separating into new cells. This process will continue multiple times. And the time it takes to get from step one to step four is called the generation time. Some bacteria can go through this process very, very quickly. In fact, E. coli has a generation time of only about 20 minutes, which explains why it's able to divide so quickly um, and reach that logarithmic growth phase.